All right, so going in to check my Facebook to see if uh, I can get my backups because when you delete an account, they give you an option to download your content. And so I got to check and see how the pending of it is. And I ended up noticing I have several messages from Chance, aka Cyrex. And this is after telling him that I don't want anything to do with him anymore. And now, well, we're going to sit here and listen to the... Uh, I've listened to the first one, and the second one I started, I'm like, oh, fuck this, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get recording on this. Yeah, so, well, here we go. Hey, Chris. I know you don't get on very much, and I know you don't want to hear from me, and I understand that. But something that you need to understand, Chris, is this. Those people that have came between mine and yours friendship are the same motherfuckers that will come after your community next. These people are terrorists. And they will stop at nothing to make those that they see as weak or as different suffer. I went through it. Wings of Redemption, Tips TV, they all went through it. We need all the help we can get to shut these people down for good. To bring all the bad shit they've done to light. These people are real pedophiles, real terrorists. People that don't care about the law. I understand that you don't want to be friends with me and that's fine. But right now, Chris, I'm asking you to set that shit aside. Oh, shouts here. Oh, no. We need to stop these people. Before they come after your community, and God knows how many other people. They have a lot of numbers. We need to grow our numbers, man. Please, Chris. We need your help. We need your community's help. We need as many people as we can to help. Trust me when I say, I don't want to bring your son into this. But the reality is, Chris, it's this. How long before they come after you? How long before they come after your son? Wow. After your family? Think about that, Chris. Did he really fucking bring in my family on this? Are you? Wow. Okay. These people have no fear. These people almost got me locked up so they could have me murdered in prison. I barely escaped prison with my life. I barely escaped a death sentence. Not only do I need your help, but Tibbs needs your help as well, man. We need as many people backing us up as we can get to stop these people before anyone else gets hurt. I understand that you might not see me as a friend, and I get that. But let me tell you something, Chris. I've never, never once stopped caring about you as a friend and as a brother. Oh I'm sorry God. that I brought your son into the shit that I brought him into. But I tried to wake you up to the reality of what these people fucking do. What they're about. Not helping us, then you're going to allow them to go after your son. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you, Chris. You're a good fucking dude. You really are. We need. We <laughs> he thinks that they're going to come after my kids. Oh my god. He is so delusional. We need your help, Chris. I got away from the trolls for good. Thanks to Tibbs, I'm away from them for good now. I really am. I am away from them. Now, what do you say, man? Will you help us stop these people before it's too late? Before more lives get ruined? These people that attack me and that came between our friendship are the same motherfuckers that caused the Inquisitor who is a good fucking person to take his life on top of several others. Mm, and if you just sit is. by, what do you say? <laughs> what are you doing if you're just sitting there doing nothing? We need your help, man. Like I said, Chris, I'm sorry about everything I said to you. Mm. I'm sorry about all the bad shit I said, but you have to understand, those guys were in my head for years. They had me and my family living in fear. And I didn't know what else to do. I did what I had to do to keep my family safe. And I hated having to do that. You think I wanted that? No. But I did what I had to do for a reason. Because I care about my family just like you care about your son. 
I would do anything for my family. Just like I would do anything for you and your family. Because in my eyes, you never stopped being my friend. You never stopped being my brother. So I'm going to ask you. Wow, he is something else. <laughs> and I understand good. that you might not see me that way. But I will never stop seeing you as family. Because when a lot of other people turn their backs, you were one of the very fucking few to stand there and say, look, this is what you need to fucking do. And I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry that things went the way they did. But right now, Chris, I need your help. I need your help so that you can help me and Tibbs stop these people because you have numbers. You have numbers in your community. And I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. My community ain't going to do a jack diddle shit, nor would I even ask them to. Oh my god. We need your help to shut them down for good. So Chris, will you help us stop these people before it's too late? Because if this shit continues on, Chris, a lot more people are going to hurt. And trust me when I say, man, I don't want that for anyone, and I know you don't either. So what do you say, Chris? Will you team up with me and Tibbs? Gather your community. Gather all your people. And let's put a stop to this. Let's get word out there. Let's put a stop to these motherfuckers. Before so anyone else loud. has to end their life. Before anyone else gets hurt. I don't want to see that. Not for you. Not for anyone. I want peace. Just like you do. And Chris, one thing that you need to understand is this, that in order to bring about peace, sometimes there has to be chaos. Sometimes you have to fight a war to bring about peace. And trust me when I say, Chris, this is a war that you're going to want to fight. Because this war affects all of us, including your community. If these fucking pathetic trolls, these terrorists, if they have their way, that's going to affect all of us, including your community as a whole. And I don't want to see that for you because I'm proud of what you've done. I'm proud of where you got to, man. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of you. I've always been proud of you, man. Hey, Chris. I know you don't get on very much. I know you don't. One last time, Chris. Will you please help us stop these people for good and shut them down entirely before anyone else gets hurt? Like I said, Inquisitor took his own life. And two years ago, because of these people, I almost took my life. Twice. But you know who stopped me? My mom, and you. When I wanted to end my life, you were there, and I can't thank you enough for that. And I know you might hate me, and that's fine, but I can never hate you. I don't care what you say. To me, you'll always be family. So will you help us, Chris? Please. Will you help us expose these people for what they are, and help us to shut them down? Because it's already been proven that I'm not what they claim I am. Not much has already been proven true. So Chris, please. I'm asking you as a friend, and as a brother, and as a fellow human being. Will you help us stop these people? Whatever information you need, we will give it to you. But we need to know that you're in our corner, and you'll help us. So what do you say, man? Will you help us stop these people for good? Please.